Hello, today I would like to demonstrate you the new and improved uh, Bona deformation feature for Synfig. Uh, if you remember earlier this year we have demonstrated um, a new way how to use bones for um, to apply deformation for bitmap images. And now we have uh, improved this uh, this uh, feature. We has have changed algorithm. And uh, today I would like to demonstrate how it works. Here I have a constructed character, and uh, um, here we have its parts and uh, a deformation layer applied on top of it. Uh, and uh, I can, you can see I can move uh, this hand and it moves like cut out, uh, but uh, here we have uh, a very nice, well, deformation. And here. And uh, I can move head. As you can see, I can move uh, the uh, hand and uh, it can be overlaid with uh, other parts. And uh, I can do the same for legs. Well, like this. And uh, let's take a look at the initial setup. Uh, the initial setup is looks like uh, I cut the separate part. Mm, I put separate parts of character into a significant distance. And then I put uh, the bones on top of them. Uh, then I define in the Influence uh, the influence area for each bone with uh, this uh, with those control points, and uh, this makes sure that uh, each bone win will influence the particular area, and the other uh, other parts will not be touched when I move. For example, I can correct this uh, bones to make sure that the, it's center at the right place and now we'll get back to pose mode and now this hand move this much better and uh, you probably can see that uh, mm, that uh, some parts of uh, the image are on top and some parts are below of the others this is uh, uh, this is uh, well it has made uh, because of uh, each bone now have a new property which is called Z order. Uh, we can uh, well, it's uh, le let me see how to demonstrate it better. Uh huh. This is select. Okay, I have everything set up correctly here, and uh, well, okay. Here you can see that the 
arm uh, goes uh, below his leg and I would like to have it on top of the leg so I need to find a proper bone it's probably will be this and uh, I can define a Z, Z order for it I can increase it okay and now the hand is uh, on top of the body well to be honest uh, the Z order parameter should work differently uh, it should uh, mm, well it should put uh, the element upper when we uh, decrease it and the uh, positive values should uh, put the bone down in the layer stack uh, but we will fix that in the future for now it is like this it's still in development okay so this is a basic demonstration and uh, Mm, now I would like to uh, have a, a quick demonstration how to set up how to set up mm, the same image. So let's start from scratch. It will be okay. Well, I have a character. Well, I'm going to try a little bit different approach than I demonstrated uh, right now because I think that do, doing the same things twice is a little bit boring. So let's try to cut this image into separate parts. Um, well, we can use a bitmap editor for that, but uh, here I will do this right into synfig. I will cut his arm and show how to okay and uh, set alpha over so we have his hand let's duplicate it will be hand number two hand number one let's cut hand, num hand number two For this hand, it would be best better to use bitmap editor because we can uh, draw something here. But for this case, I will proceed as is. Okay, hand is ready. Okay, let's cut his head. Okay, and uh, today I'm too lazy to cut the rest, so I won't cut his. Uh, I won't cut his uh, legs. I just 
let's just uh, proceed with the remaining parts. Okay. My apologies for the Russian interface. Uh, I just forgot to switch the language. Please bear with this. Okay. lock parameter and now we can uh, separate them all apart okay let's create uh, such a simple rig with head and hands let's save our work Okay, and now let's put a... Uh, uh, okay, no, uh, no, no, I'd better switch the interface for you. Otherwise it won't be good. I think this is much better. Uh, whoops, for some reasons everything is blank. I don't know why looks like some bug or I'm not sure hmm Looks like some bag. Okay. Okay. So let's add a new distortion layer. A skeleton deformation. And let's. Uh, well, you can see that uh, it's uh, already have uh, some areas defined and the larger the area uh, the more uh, the more space is took into account the everything what outside of influence area is cropped uh, at the moment it's not cropped very good and it's uh, really defined on the mesh resolution uh, really depend on the mesh resolution um, but we will go and improve this in the future. For the moment it will remain like this. So let's create a... Oh, let's put the rest a little bit down. Yeah. Okay, let's create a basic rig. Uh, like this for body mm -hmm. and uh, child bone for the head and uh, for hand
like this. Whoops. Now let's oh now let's choose reset pose. Okay. Uh, we have bottom part cut out uh, because it is out of uh, influence area so I will uh, create a special bone which will cover uh, remaining parts for us like this we need to reset pose okay almost Okay, now it's fine and uh, we can turn the influence area off and put everything in its place. Uh, like, oops, like this. Oh, I don't like how the head is rigged like this, would be better. Okay. Our hand it's here. And here. Okay. So now we have a character. It's rigged and influenced by the uh, influenced by the bone deformation, but the order of the bones is wrong. So we need to correct this. Uh, let's open the parameters and uh, let's find a z order parameter sub parameter for each bone. And now it will be better. Um, of course, for the future, we need to uh, create a better interface for ordering the bones, but for now it is like this. Okay. Not very comfortable. Yes, and uh, and this. <laughs> okay, now our character is uh, rigged and uh, is uh, ready for animation, and we can have some fun. Well, generally that's all, but uh, f at the end I would like to test one more thing. Um, I don't know if this will work or not, because I haven't tried it before by myself, so this will be a little improvisation, but we will see how this works. I would like to create bones for legs without cutting them. So let's uh, change the a little bit our setup. I will make this bone to influence this part of his cloth like this and uh, one more on the other side like this and now I'm going to create a uh, one bone for two bones for this leg and uh, like this And for this leg, it's really interesting how it will turn out. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. 
it is distorted so I need to reset the pose and uh, let's uh, Okay, the bad thing is that is that reset pose is uh, um, changes the z order parameter as well, so I will need to set up it again. This needs to be fixed. Okay, but anyway, let's not waste our time for setting up z z parameter, and uh, let's try how it works for our legs for his legs. <laughs> well, it's pretty nice. And we can animate his cloth. Okay, that's not bad, so probably it's not you not always need to cut your character into pieces, but uh, I guess this was a nice experience anyway. Well, okay, uh, that's all what I wanted to demonstrate for today. Thank you for attention and goodbye.